Hey guys, one of the lesser known areas of the Phoenix Metro where you can find a brand new construction home for under $300,000 is Maricopa, Arizona. We previously did a video giving a tour of the city, what it looks like to live there, where you can go shopping, go out to eat, entertainment, casinos, things like that. And that video you can watch right here if you haven't seen it yet. I definitely recommend you do so. Then come back to this video to see the top, or I should say all 17 current new construction communities that we have information on. Um, maybe there's a couple of others that we missed, but 17 brand new construction communities going on right now in Maricopa, Arizona. Let's get right into it. All right, guys, so right here, what you're seeing is the city of Maricopa. The green houses are all of the new construction communities that you can currently buy a brand new home in. Now, if you're not familiar with where Maricopa is in relation to the Phoenix Metro, it's about 35 miles south of Phoenix. So here on the left is the city of Maricopa. On the right is the Phoenix Metro. So this red line represents the Phoenix Airport driving down the highway to Maricopa, Arizona. The new construction communities are basically focused in five main areas of Maricopa. The first is down here on the southwest part of town. This is called Amarillo Creek. There's a large development coming in here. This part right here in the front is what's currently being built and what's currently available. We'll get back to this here in a second. Out here on the east side of town, you have the Tortosa neighborhood. Tortosa currently has several different builders building different neighborhoods. You've got the trails at Tortosa, just Tortosa doesn't, you know, ultimately they're all the Tortosa neighborhood. You've got Merritt Century Homes, Ashton Woods, and D.R. Horton. Right next door here is the Sorrento neighborhood. Big, large neighborhood by D.R. Horton. Over here in the center of town, we've got two neighborhoods that are really close to the Copper Sky Regional Park. Again, if you haven't seen our tour of Maricopa video, go watch that video, come back to this one, but you're gonna see some information about the park and what else is nearby. The main area number four is the province 55 and up neighborhood and Copper Ridge, which is right next to it. Both of these are being built by Meritage Homes. In the 55 and up neighborhood province, you're gonna have some extremely nice amenities. That's all right here. The last main area is El Dorado Ranch, otherwise known as the Lakes of El Dorado Ranch or any multiple variations. But in this area, as you can see, we have multiple different neighborhoods under construction and more neighborhoods coming soon that haven't yet been announced or publicly published as far as pricing and floor plans, things like that. So let's get down to Amarillo Creek and go through some of the details. So between Amarillo Creek by Ashton Woods and Amarillo Creek by Starlight Homes, which if you don't know, these are the same company. Starlight Homes is actually Ashton Woods' uh, quick move in, no options, you know, lower price point homes, but very nice granite countertops, stainless steel appliances, things like that. But when you buy a brand new home from Starlight, there is no customization. So in this area, you've got 17 different floor plans to choose from. Some of them actually have an RV garage attachment, which is really cool, especially if you either just wanna have a lot of extra space to store things things, you know, toys, or if you actually want to park an RV in a garage at your house and not have to pay for storage at, you know, an RV storage lot, which can add up to multiple hundreds of dollars a month. It's super uh, nice to be able to do that. Park your RV in your own garage at your house. Makes it easy to uh, load it up or unload it. Uh, dump the sewage tanks right at your own home. Plus in the really, really hot summer months, you want to take off with the kids, get out of the area for, you know, the, the hottest months of July, you know, June, July, and August. Uh, a lot of people can choose to do that. Head up north. There's Visit friends, go to Yellowstone National Park, check out Montana, wherever you want to go, and then come right back down home here to Amarillo Creek, park your RV in the garage, and you know, live your life and have a good time doing it. That's Amarillo Creek, 1,400 square foot homes, all the way up to just over 4,000 square feet. And guys, I want to show you real quick, if you go to the uh, description in the video, there's a link in the description of this video where you can go and see this 133 page document. This shows every single floor plan for every single community that I'm about to show you. All 17 communities, you get the details on what the elevations look like. You've got details on the floor plans. You can scroll through this, take some notes. It shows you the base price. This is a base price at $292,000 for this home. Uh, it tells you what the HOA fees are for this neighborhood, so on and so forth. So this will really help you in narrowing down some ideas so that when you do give us a call, and by the way, we are a real estate brokerage team here in Arizona. We help clients every single day who are moving and relocating here to the Phoenix area and the city of Maricopa. So if you are thinking about buying a brand new construction home or 
any other home in Maricopa, Scottsdale, Gilbert, Chandler, anywhere else in the Phoenix Metro, give us a call, shoot us a quick text message, shoot us an email. We absolutely love it when we get those calls from people who say, hey, Dave, I saw you on YouTube, I was watching your video, and yeah, we definitely are moving here. So we are never too busy to have that conversation with you, even if you're a year or two out, we can definitely give you some information and you know help you start to understand what it looks like to live in this area, including our YouTube videos, plus other you know customized information just for you. So go to the link in the description, download this PDF, and let's get on to the next neighborhood. All right, next up, guys, we're heading over to Tortosa. This is the another Ashton Woods development. This is actually being closed out. I just wanna show it to you just to show you that these homes are popular and they are selling quickly. And there's literally in this neighborhood right here, just this one, number 73, that's the last lot available. $322,000, it's 1,775 square feet. It's called the IRIS, I-R-I-S model. So if you download that PDF in the description, you can scroll through, find that floor plan so you can see what those details look like, or just give us a call and we can email it to you or set up an appointment to actually physically walk through it and go see this particular house in the Ashton Wood section of Tortosa. If you're watching this on your TV screen in your living room or you know late night in your bedroom, hit that pause button real quick on your remote, grab your phone, off your bed stand or out of your pocket and uh, take a picture of the screen. You're gonna wanna save that information or you can scan the QR code here in the corner, save that for later so you can download the PDF that way. So also here at Tortosa, we have Starlight Homes, which again is part of Ashton Woods. This is all of their non-customizable, but actually very nice homes. You get them at a discount because of the fact that there is no customization. You get what's offered um, and there's some really nice offerings in here. These homes range from 1,400 to about 3,100 square feet. You're looking at a base price about 313,000 up to 424 for the largest options. So up here to the north a little bit, you've got Century Homes. They have actually two different sections. They've got a, an area with uh, 50 foot lots and 60 foot lots. Between the two, you have 11 different floor plans you can choose from. They range from 1,300 square feet up to 2,552. Pricing in this section here is between 306,000 and 432. Now what's really cool about this neighborhood is this amenity center. Now it's not very clear on this 3D map, but you've got a resort style pool and hot tub, clubhouse, uh, pickleball tennis courts, you've got jogging paths, uh, fish pond, um, play fields for the kids, you've got a tot lot. So if you have little like toddlers, babies, they can hang out here, a little bit bigger kids can play here. Super awesome neighborhood for uh, young families um, with these amenities that are purpose built, especially for the first time home buyer market. But anybody can buy here, you're not limited because you know, if you don't have children, it's definitely an option to live here, no doubt. But if you do have kids, they're gonna love of this amenity center. Just to the south of the amenity center, this is also the trails, but this is Meritage Homes section. And as you can see, it's also super popular. All of these red lots already sold, already gone. The blue ones, these are homes that are quick moving, meaning that they're either finished now or they will be finished here in the near future. You can tour them, see what they look like. And typically if it's already finished, closing, sometimes less than three weeks. So from the time you uh, negotiate with the builder, and by the way, if you are thinking about buying a new construction home, if you walk into a new construction office and you talk directly with the builder's representative, essentially you're waiving your right to representation in that if you want to be represented by me or my team as your buyer's agent, the builders will actually pay us to bring you to them and then we can represent you and lead and guide you through all the processes, make sure that you're not being taken advantage of, make sure you're maximizing any of the incentives um, and discounts they're offering. But even bigger than that, guys, the options and upgrades, if you are going to customize a home, this is where the builders make a ton of extra profit and look, there's nothing wrong with them making extra profit, except for the fact that it comes at a huge cost to you. It's convenient, but expensive. And what I mean by that is if you do want to have the upgraded shower, the upgraded flooring, the different kitchen cabinets, sometimes, and when I say sometimes, almost always, it's gonna be way less expensive to just buy the most basic version of whatever the builder is offering, and then have a third party contractor come in after you buy the house, gut the flooring, gut the bathroom, gut those cabinets, whatever it is you want, and have the new, nicer stuff put in after the fact. We're talking less than half the price a lot of times. So it can save you a ton of money by being you know, more prudent about how you're going to get the upgrades and options that you want without having to pay a huge premium for it. So here still at Tortosa, we have the KB Homes neighborhood. KB Homes has six different floor plans they're offering. It's 1,439 square feet up to about almost 2,400 square foot on the largest option or largest home, ranging from 293,000 up to 360,000. It's almost sold out guys. So all these red ones are gone. These 
white blue options currently are quick move-in homes, meaning they're almost finished or will be finished uh, soon. The yellows are the model homes that we can take you to and, and show you what the ideas look like. So of course there's six plans, three of them are actually built, and these are lots that have not yet been released or you can have a customized home built on. So give us a call so we can walk you through the details on that. Right next door, we've got the DR Horton Express. This is very similar to Ashton Woods uh, Starlight Division. These are all spec'd out homes, no customization allowed or available, but again, they have some really great options in here. They've got six different floor plans, I believe. I have to double check those notes, but this is actually getting close to being sold out as well. All the floor plans are in the PDF file in the description in this video. Now, just heading a little bit to the west here. This is a brand new neighborhood also by DR Horton. This is Sorrento, and they just broke down ground on this area not that long ago. There's two sections. You've got the uh, Sorrento, you've got customizable home options here, and this is the uh, Express DR Horton area where they're gonna be building homes that you can just pick it off the shelf and buy it basically. Either way, you're gonna have some good quality homes at extremely cheap prices compared to what you're gonna have to pay up in Chandler, Gilbert, or out in Queen Creek, for example. So they're really targeting first time home buyers here. So if you're renting an apartment uh, and you're paying all this rent money to your landlord, which you'll never get back, and you wanna buy a home, but the affordability just isn't there in the Chandler, Gilbert, Tempe, Scottsdale area, this is gonna be a really attractive option for a lot of people. Um, interest rates wise, these builders are dropping interest rates. They're, they're basically paying off the lender to bring the interest rate down so that the monthly payments can be really affordable to a lot of people. In most cases, the amount of money you pay per month to live in one of these homes that you actually get to buy and own is gonna be less than what you're paying for rent uh, on an apartment, townhouse, or, or, or for sure a single family home in most cases throughout the rest of the Phoenix Metro. So in the Sorrento neighborhood, you're gonna have 11 different floor plans to choose from, starting off as small as 1,300 square feet up to 2,051. You're gonna look at you know about 325,000 to 380 is the price range you're gonna see throughout these two sections of neighborhood. So heading back over here to the center of town, the Copper Sky Regional Park area, we've got Santa Rosa Springs. This is a Kehov Nanian, or just Kehov for short, neighborhood. They're still building out the rest of this. All of these lots have not yet been released. The light tan ones are homes that are either finished or will be finished soon that you can pick out. Red ones are sold, black ones are closed, meaning someone's already living there. So it's a relatively newer neighborhood. This area has been closed out or there's still some options coming soon. But yeah, you definitely wanna check this out. In this area, you're looking at four different floor plans range from almost 1,600 square feet to almost 2,000 square feet. So we'll just call it 1,600 to 2,000 square foot, uh, starting at 355,000 up to $389,000 for the base price on these homes. Pretty much right next door, this is Centex Homes, Santa Rosa Crossing. This neighborhood is almost completely sold out. You're gonna be asking me, well, everything looks blank. Why is it blank? Well, to clear this up, I decided to just show you what is available because everything else is sold. There's people living in all of these other houses. So these five or six here and the rest here, totaling about 13 homes are what's left. And there's four different floor plans among these, starting at 1,800 square feet up to about 2,400 square feet. Pricing here is gonna be 367,000 up to 398. We'll just call it 400. So 367 to 400,000 for any of these homes. What I personally love most about this neighborhood is that it's right next door to the Copper Sky, a regional park, bicycling distance, even walking distance if you want to. This place has it all for families and kids, playing, swimming, cultural center, you know, clubs, swimming, outdoor water park, you name it, this park definitely has it. So let's head north now up to the preserve at Province. This is the 55 and up neighborhood that we mentioned at the beginning of the video. This is the last phase of Province. Once these homes are sold and built out, there will be no more or new construction in province, the entire neighborhood, which is here, will be finished. Right now, they're offering five different floor plans ranging from 1,300 to 1,900 square feet. Most of them are two bedroom floor plans with usually a den or office or kind of a lounge area. You gotta remember, this is a 55 and up neighborhood. Uh, people who live here are typically retired or about to be retired. So the lifestyle and the floor plans are designed to be uh, more about you know comfort and hanging out and entertaining. So you're gonna see a lot of that with those floor plan options, which are also included in that PDF attached in the description 
of this video. Right next door, also a Meritage home, this is Copper Ridge. Copper Ridge has a lot of different options. 10 floor plans ranging from 1,400 up to almost 2,600 square feet. Uh, you're looking at about 320,000 up to 441. What's really nice about this configuration or setup is that if you're thinking about moving out here from you know California, Seattle, or any other area of the country, and you're bringing the whole family, meaning grandparents, you know, the kids and the grandkids, uh, grandparents can you know have their own space, their own house with their own clubhouse and amenities, but you can live right next door in a normal family neighborhood with the kids who have access to their grandparents and vice versa without even having to go very far. Some people really enjoy that, you know, being close together, but each having their own space. Um, there are other options throughout the Phoenix Metro where you can have um, basically what they would call a mother-in-law suite attachment to the home. That's called uh, next gen suite. So if you've never heard of that, we can definitely talk about it. That's not available here. However, this is definitely a, a good option for a lot of people that want to be close and they want two brand new construction homes, uh, especially now that interest rates are a little bit higher at the beginning of 2024. With the builder incentives, these interest rates can get extremely low, making that monthly payment super affordable for, for a lot more people. So the last area, El Dorado Ranch. We're gonna check out Lakes at Rancho El Dorado. This is the DR Horton section. This community here has four or four plans and it's almost sold out also. I know it's a, you know, kind of the theme here. Everything's almost sold out, but um, there is more construction coming, but these things do not sit around forever. This is extremely attractive pricing. The builders want to keep their product moving and not stagnate. So they've definitely got the prices down in this area. However, here you've got, as of this recording, 13 different lots left, 320,000 up to about $380,000 for the homes in this neighborhood. This is the lakes at Rancho El Dorado by DR Horton. Now, right next door, we also have the lakes at Rancho El Dorado, but this development or section of the community is being built by Brightland Homes. Brightland is offering five different floor plans ranging from about 1,900 square feet all the way up to 3,200. Big, big, big. Starting at 377,000 up to about 477,000. Beautiful area, the streets and neighborhood are just fantastic. Uh, the views in the water heading back out to the freeway, definitely a great area to, to live and really relax and enjoy and at a fraction of the price of what you're gonna have to pay out in Queen Creek, Santan Valley, Gilbert, Chandler, Tempe, and so on and so forth. So right next door here, we've got Meritage Homes offering villas at the lakes. And when I say offering, again, almost sold out. There's a small number here of remaining homes. There's three floor plans left of this collection here, ranging from 1,325 square feet up to 1,572. They start up at 318,000 and range up to 341,000. So if you wanna see what these look like, give us a call so we can show you exactly what's left as of our phone call, because by the time you're watching this video, they might already be gone. I'm happy to show you what that looks like. Here we've got Seasons at the Lakes. This is a Richmond Americans development, a Richmond American, excuse me. And they've got a lot of lots left. None of these lots have been released yet. So you see there's a lot of waterfront property that will be coming. And on the interior lots here, we still also have a lot of homes left. What you're seeing here, the red ones are gone and sold. These are the model homes that we can set up an appointment with you to come see and check out what those options look like. Like. So there's four floor plans offered in the neighborhood and all four of them are represented right here. And there's a couple of quick build, you know, quick move in homes available right here. So this neighborhood is definitely gonna be super popular with all of the waterfront lots that are still available. And last but not least guys, Villages at Rancho El Dorado, another Richmond American home. This one is still a long way from being completed. So you're still gonna have a lot of options as time goes on as far as picking out lots as they get released. Uh, but again, a number of model homes to look at, some quick move ins and other homes to you know consider as far as floor plans and options so as you can see there is an immense and i mean that immense amount of new construction going on here in maricopa and the pricing is completely crazy compared to other areas of the phoenix metro and i want to explain that real quick in case it's not clear why is it so much cheaper is it you know what's you know as i say if it sounds too good to be true it probably is okay here's the issue and the problem there's a big con which is being fixed soon i'm going to show you what that con is so the only way in and out of Maricopa, as of right now, the only major way in and out is on the 347 highway, which is represented by this red line here. Getting in and out of Maricopa right now can be extremely stressful. Uh, it's chock full of traffic. You've got stoplights on this highway. The state of Arizona, Maricopa County, and Pinal County, which is where the city of Maricopa is, plus the Gila River Indians, um, they are all working together to figure out a way to get this highway expanded, running smoother and more straight line and stream, you know, a, a 
more straight shot in and out of the major city, you know, Phoenix metro area. My prediction, just because it logically makes sense and I don't have any proof to prove that this will be the case, but real estate just right over here, whether you're working at the Intel Ocotillo area or any of these other, um, you know, developments and companies around the airports, you know, got the Mesa Gateway, all of this real estate is extremely expensive compared to what you're gonna get in Maricopa, simply because this road is really annoying to get in and out of. So if you work from home where you only have to commute to you know, an office space a couple of days a week or another type of facility, it might be really worthwhile to, to suck it up and make that commute happen. Or if you work from home, you don't even have to worry about it. It's not even an issue. However, when that highway does open up and that bottleneck is cleared, Maricopa is gonna become way more desirable to way more people and prices are gonna go up. It's just the natural way that things happen. So those that are buying homes right now in the Maricopa area, that you know it's a suitable situation for you. Uh, obviously price-wise, it's gonna be the lowest priced option of new construction anywhere in the Phoenix Metro. So you definitely wanna make that a strong consideration and weigh the pros and cons on, is this area gonna be good for me in the short term? And am I willing to wait for the long-term benefit of having that highway expanded and have more accessibility in and out of the core Phoenix Metro? So guys, I hope this video has been valuable to you. I wanna keep it short and I want to show you where everything's at. The link in the description below, you can download the 113 page PDF file, scroll through the uh, floor plans and elevations, take notes on which ones you like, and then give us a call. Shoot us an email, send me a text message. My team and I can help you narrow it down even further, maybe suggest something that um, is new since this recording and help you know lead and guide you to finding the ideal, you know, perfect home for you, your family, and your situation. And again, if Maricopa turns out not to be an area for you, we cover the entire Phoenix Metro, whether you're looking in Scottsdale, Gilbert, Chandler, the Mesa area, or even out in the West Valley, we definitely have you, you covered and we've got your back. So give us a call, shoot us an email, send a text message, and until the next video, guys, catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.